Hi, I'm Grady, owner of Video Mania. Don Miller has an addiction. All right, I guess it all started when uh, I moved from Merritt Island to Putnam County. Um, I was having trouble making friends, so I started, uh, you know, I stayed home a lot. I didn't go out very much. And uh, that's when I really started getting into horror films, simply because, you know, out of all cinema, that was the one that really, you know, uh, provoked a lot of emotions from me, like, you know, fear. I was dealing with fears of, you know, living in a new place. And, you know, you watch a horror film, it's okay to be afraid, you know, because, you know, that's, you watch it to be afraid. So, like, that, I think that's where it, it all started as far as horror terms. And that's also where I started my DVD collection. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Remake. Don't want it. Remake. Don't want it. But uh, the key to my 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 DVD addiction and how it comes into play with my ecological identity, which I never really thought about this until you know the project fell in my lap via the graces of uh, Mr. Beck, Mr. B. A. Um, was thinking, yes, I I I have a I have a problem, an addiction with DVDs, and that has a negative outcome on my environment, just from all the, the plastic that uh, that comes from the casing. What do you have as far as terms of late 1970s uh, Jalo slasher films? I don't think he has anything <clears throat> that I don't have. See you later, Grady. Hey, where are you going with that DVD? Like, you know, you have the, the slip plastic which wraps around the entire DVD, and then on each DVD there's usually at least one sticker that goes over the crease. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's even three. Alright, now that's a, that's a sticker for every crease. It's pretty extreme. It's a lot of plastic if you think about it. But yeah, um, I, I guess I could recycle that stuff, or I could just burn it in my yard. But uh, I just I just throw it away, and um, you know I never really thought about it much. But I should probably recycle that stuff. I want to go in there. So. I know, and just cut up and come out with somebody. Just, just quit smoking about a month and a half ago. I was thinking about my ecological identity and how when I was smoking you were just walking along smoking you flick a butt. You know wherever you're at you don't care you drive you flick a butt out and uh, the thing about those cigarette butts is they're non-biodegradable. They don't break down. They just build up and uh, yeah, that's, that's quite a problem. You walk a lot of these city streets, and that's all you see on the side of the sidewalk is just cigarette butts everywhere. And After a while, you know, that stuff's going to build up. You know, we might not notice that much right now, but, you know, in a hundred years, you'll be able to swim in that Here shit. Here we have the boxes that we keep after our festivities that we uh, try to get to recycle when we get a chance to. As you see, we care so much about recycling would rather hold off and accumulate this large amount than ever just throw it away in the trash.